That's actually not even close to how loud I snore. Apparently I snore very loudly. <laughs> My name is George Motes. It is my job to preserve the American hamburger, right? But you know, things happen when the burger goes out into the world. I've often said that technically to be a burger, it has to be ground beef cooked somehow and, hang on, I got a street cleaner. New York City, keeping it clean. Where's my car? Crazy things can happen when the burger goes out into the world. It can come back as something completely different. And that's exactly what happened with this burger, the ramen burger. A guy named Keizo Shimamoto invented the ramen burger, period. Keizo is an intense character because he takes a bowl of ramen as seriously as I take the American hamburger, which basically makes him the ramen version of me. <laughs> the ramen burger is a pretty simple concept. It's two buns made from ramen noodles. There's a burger patty, arugula, scallions, and a very special secret shoyu sauce that is incredibly intense and flavorful. That's the whole ramen burger. But the original ramen burger did not have beef in it at all. It was actually a piece of pork belly in there. So he decided to make the burger better. Queso's ramen burger became an overnight success. It, it traveled the world. Everybody knew about the ramen burger. Everybody wanted to get a ramen burger. It was a stunt burger that worked. Most stunt burgers don't work, they're crap. They're made to get people in a restaurant and they usually don't taste great. Case in point, the mac and cheese burger. Mac and cheeseburger sucks. Chrissy Teigen famously once said, all those burgers that are made for Instagram that actually taste like shit should die. Except for the ramen burger. <laughs> Thanks, Chrissy. Are you ready? Let's make a ramen burger. Five elements. I think five, right? <laughs> Wait, one, two, three, four, five. One, two. Five elements. There's beef, obviously a beef patty. There is the ramen bun, which was shipped to me from California. Thank you, Keizo. Mmm, those are yeasty. Oh, wow. Smell that. that is, really smell that. That's incredible. Yeah, Mmm. Mmm, yeast. Mmm. It's formed in some strange way. I don't know how he does it. It's almost like rubbery. See that? Look at that. Keizo, do you have any suggestions for the home cook that wants to make a ramen bun? If you want to make a ramen bun at home, you have to use a tastes good. Arugula. Yes, it's arugula. You know why? Arugula has a peppery, sharp flavor to it. It's great in a ramen burger. There's also scallions. And probably one of the most important elements to a ramen burger, unquestionably, is Keizo's secret magic shoyu sauce. It's very sweet, too. Oh, wow. Oh, you know what? Keizo actually bottled this sauce. It's a secret in a bottle. Oh, ready, here we go. Okay, what Keizo does is he has pre-formed fresh beef patties. Just to make things easier when he's making thousands of them an hour. Where's my, oh here, <laughs> sorry, this beef. You lost your ball. I lost my ball, see this is beef. Beef is here, so. It's like a two ounce patty. They're pretty small, they're pretty thin. I'm gonna use this wonderful, look at this patty press. This is actually a patty pressing machine that a friend of mine gave me in Argentina. And it's so simple. Pressure, parchment paper, patty. And there it is, look at that. Round, like the bun, ready? The buns also have to be toasted or heated up a little bit. Right now they're cold. We're gonna take a little bit of sesame oil and we're going to, oh shit, oh, fuck me. Now if you can smell this right now, oh my goodness, my apartment smells like, ooh, my apartment smells like a ramen shop right now because, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus. You don't want to burn them, obviously. You just want to get them toasty. That's kind of what I'm doing. Ow. <laughs> Those are looking pretty good. Ah. Slipping. Oh. Mm. Is it mm? That's the appropriate response, yes. Mm. Sauce onto the patty while it's on the flat top. Uh -huh. I want more. Make it more. Onto the bottom of the bun, we're going to put arugula. You wouldn't usually see me putting arugula on a burger. We got the patty, goes on top of the arugula, scallions, raw, and on top of that goes the crown. <laughs> oh shit, that's hot. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Man, I can't quite eat this yet. I'm gonna give it a second. 
Oh my God. Wow. Case is a bit of a, a genius, I gotta tell you. That sauce is something else. Mmm. Mmm. Every element of the burger is working towards that one goal, which is to taste similar to a bowl of ramen. Then it works. This right here is an amazing burger. But before we wrap the episode, I wanna give you something very special. Can you imagine if you took my burger, the Oklahoma Fried Onion Burger, and you mash it up with a ramen burger? What would you get? That's right, you'd get an Oklahoma Fried Onion Ramen Burger. yee But we've done this before, actually. Kezo and I were once invited to Indianapolis Motor Speedway to make a mashup of our two burgers for the Indy 500. I'm a huge fan of racing, so for me to be able to be on track at Indianapolis, making a burger with my buddy Kezo was it's like, it was too much to handle. It was a dream come true. And we put the fucking burger on the start finish line. On the start finish line! It was awesome. So for you, let's make one of those. Let's make the ramen burger mashup. Yeah! Safety first. Oh, I'm using an op. Oh. <laughs> I'm using a slicer here to slice onions. Oh, I can do that. Oh, Jesus. One of the best ways. In order to make a proper Oklahoma fried onion burger, you need onions. You need super, 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 almost thinner than paper onions so they cook fast. Let's do this. Ooh. Oh. Ready to go. Okay, let's get this out of here. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Salt my balls right there. See that? And then I take thin sliced sweet Vidalia onion and let it kind of fall around the ball. Don't put it on top of the ball. Let it fall around the ball. And I smash it. Those onions are going to crisp up. Ramen buns. Kezo, do you remember what it was like at the Indy Motor Speedway? He got kind of jealous when I got to take a picture with you know, the, the reigning NASCAR champion. <laughs> and he was cut out. <laughs> so it's cheese on the flip. Sauce on top of the cheese. Oh yeah, I oh got, I got the fried onion patty. Some scallions in there. And then the top. It's too fucking hot. Oh, ah, 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 ah. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm, -hmm. mm. You know what? Oh, mm. Oh, I remember. Kezo, I remember. Mm. That's why they liked it so much. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> mm, that's good. Wow. Damn, that's good. Oh, that's good? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll see you next time on Burger Scholar Sessions when we go deeper, even deeper, into hamburger history. Thanks for joining. Hey, my name is George Motes. Don't forget to like and subscribe to First We Feast and get more episodes of Burger Scholar right here. Where? <laughs>